Yeah, good morning guys. Welcome back to the Cook Graphic Design Trainer. I believe we're doing great today. So it's been a while guys. So there is a lot of things cooking uh, which I'm going to unveil them one after the other. So trust me as usual, you know I do bring a lot of things and tricks regarding the graphics. So today I came with a simple uh, monogram logo which you can design on your Android smartphone using your PC lab as usual. And you can actually, we are going to, I will teach you step by step so you can actually present this logo on the markup using varieties of markup. So believe me, we are not going to use any external markups here. We are going to use the markup which is embedded inside the photo pay. So without wasting much of our time, follow me at the end as i'm going to show you how you can create a simple logo for your business so this tutorial is going to help you whether you're a business owner or you are a creative designer and it's going to add more knowledge add more value to your skills so without wasting much of our time let's get started the first thing we need to do is to determine the background size as i do say and after that we are going to use a font called Ruti. So you go in there. So the name of the brand is uh, Bella Signature. So I will type the initial Bella, which is B. Then you go to your font size, I mean the font type, and locate the font called the Ruti Regular. R-U-T-H-I-E. After that, increase the size to your own desired taste. After that has been achieved, you can position it here okay fine then what are you going to do next let go with our right of the brand name so i will have what we call the bella so i have a bella signature okay perfect after that we go to font then you look at uh, what kind of a font can be suitable for this kind of uh, um, logo so we can actually use this but one thing you need to do is to reduce the size for this so that the size of the text or the brand will be able to go along with that. If you want it to have a slogan, part good, it's going to have a slogan. But if you don't have, want it to have, it might not have, depends on your choice. So take you for instance, I don't want it to have, a, I want it to have a slogan. So I'm going to select this just centralize it after you are able to do that just increase this a little bit and you are going to position it to the middle then bring it down a little bit fine now go to the text area have your slogan be created so let's say bella signature we have beauty is our priority priority okay perfect but let me this one to be in cap then you go to the font area select the kind of a font that will be suitable for this so take it for instance i want to use multizera regular so i will use multizera regular the bold one reduce the size a little bit after you are able to do that we are going to increase the length a bit then position that around here as well but we need to add some um we need to add some stuff to make it cool so type any of the alphabet when you're able to type that go to the font area so go to the font and you locate all these uh we are going to locate a font that look like a line okay so i'm looking for one and i'll be able to okay perfect so i need to use any of these okay let me see if i type b is it going to give me something so which it does so let me tap let everything be in small cap so i still get this so let's go for d e f g let's look at the okay fine i've seen the one i want which is d so you can select this so what you are going to do is to reduce the size, okay? Reduce the size to your text and make it perfect as I did here. Okay, good. Then what are you going to do next? After that, 
make sure you centralize them perfectly then you go to the copy copy it and centralize as well move it to this particular area and you rotate so that everything will look uniform so just uh tap here and you make sure that uh, it's really aligned properly so you can see so remove it from this one detach it <clears throat> so you can do that very well anyway just make sure you do it very well okay perfect so the next thing you can do is to readjust okay perfect readjust this one well now we are good to go we have the slogan and we have our logo so the next thing we can do is to give the color that we want to use so take it for instance i want to use this color so after selecting this color i will combine the two color here so having the bella let the bella take his color then you give the rest to signature give it the second so now the next thing we need to do is to give this a particular color so take it for instance you can give this why sorry okay so what we can just do is to give color to this separately so i want to give it a light green color so the other one will take the same color so when we are able to do that we can first of all save with transparent background so I have everything being select like this tap here then you centralize it so once you are able to do that without merging anyway so you save it after saving you can apply background to that as well just give this color so this is awesome so you can save that as well it's cool so after saving heading back to your chrome browser so let's go to chrome browser then you go to your photo p so access your photo p directly which you can see close by tapping this allow it to load okay so after loading you click on template don't click because you are using a template here yeah. so now locate the markup you want to use so take it for instance which of this markup can i use so i want to make use of uh, uh this has even be updated let me make use of this or let me back look for that one which can go along with that so let me still go for this tap on it and go for that you allow it to load after tapping be looking at the screen of your phone so i'm waiting okay now everything is already displayed tap here on the layer tap on your logo the inspiring b just hide it then you go to your file open and place just why you are using this to access the logo we save with transparent backgrounds so we are going to access that which is this so you are going to import it here after the importation you are going to increase the size just a bit not much okay so guess is cool like this after that file and see with smart objects After tapping C with Smart Object, you'll be looking at the screen of your phone. So if you don't know how to get mock-up, you can actually uh, go to the template after coming to your photo P. Then you follow the 
process the due process as it was displayed and when you look at the results everything seemed to be cool you can see them very simple now you can tap on the layer and do a kind of adjustment so like the effort or this uh the black shadow tap on it then you re re uh, reduce the fill to something like uh, let's say 80 so that won't be too black again so you can see so you can go to the effort this effort should be reduced a bit or we check it before we reduce so i guess it's still cool although we can touch it tap on it and you reduce it to 70 so let's see so i believe it's not nice put it in 80 so it has a touch like that so what next i'm going to reduce this as well to 80. okay now you can see we have a good and better result so the top one we can have that to be 70. okay we have awesome logo now you can tap on the file and click export make sure you export as png and click on save so you save the work so if you bring an ad let their ad continue so when it continue and it's done it will download and let's look at the results this is the result very cool thank for watching god bless you